We're now going to create some wall in this project. And as explained in the earlier video, uh, we can do this by importing uh, material or drawings from architects, or we can do it on our own. And in this case, we're going to do something very simple. So we're going to do it on our own. I'll start by selecting the polyline. And have in mind, using polyline is very beneficial in structure. And you will soon understand why. Minus assigning the different lengths to these lines. Then I'm just closing the polyline by using the C command. Running the CTR command, so I want this to be in the middle. I'm also going to insert just a line as a wall in the center of this building. Now I'm running the command A, and A will open the layout manager. And in the layout manager, you can do a lot of things walls, beams, posts, openings, joists trusses and sheds but in this case we're going to focus on the walls we're going to do uh, 89 which is a 90 mil stud with a gauge of 0 0.75 with a grade 550 steam the wall we're going to do is going to be load bearing and the roof is sheet if i click here it will take me to the 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 truss settings and I can change it to concrete tiles or what's suitable for the project. In this case the floor type is going to be concrete as this is on the top of a slab. The wind speed as we also spoke about in earlier videos as I'm in Sydney is going to stay as per the project settings which is N2 and the wall height here I'm going to do 2650. The base level is the level in relation to the whole project. So you, when you're creating second levels, you're going to have to increase these. I'm happy with these. I'm going to also select by lines. And also this is where you're going to see the power of using polylines. Because when I now select these line, it will do walls for the whole polyline, not just a segment that I just selected. I'm also going to tell frame cut structure in what direction I want my walls to grow. So if the outside of this polyline is my external, I will go to the inside. If the inside of or, or if the inside of these walls would be this polyline, I will go to the outside. But in this case, I'm going to go to the inside and I have now created all these walls for that polyline. I'm going to repeat the same command, which is A. And instead of having by lines down here, I'm changing that to by points. I'm creating, and I'm now going to use this geometry to create the internal wall. I'll select that point and that point. And now you can see if I go on that side or that side, it will position the wall in different size of that line i could also go to the center if i want the walls to be centered in this case i want it to be centered i now have all the walls created and i can now label these walls by running the la command the system have now automatically labeled all these walls if i starting to cut walls in half or extend them or insert other walls, I can rerun this command and the system will automatically label all these walls for you, which is then used in all the elevation drawings and in the machine codes. Let us now build these walls uh, by running the PPD command. But before we do that, let me just look at the panel settings by running the PSET command, panel settings, and we can see here that we're happy with this all information. Um, 
you want to have a plaster stud that is 10 mil i can show you what that means later here um, but we are happy with this this information so i'm now running the ppd command and build all these panels i will also get all the engineering looked at in this case so these are the walls that we are going to build so i will select them all i will send them to cad and all these drawings are ready. If I want to have a look at the 3D, I run the A3D command. I used to select the visual style conceptual first, and I can then see exactly how the system have built these all these walls. Go back to the layout, and this is the end of this session. We're gonna look more into all the engineering and other parts of these in later videos.